Welcome to Mahesh Tutorials. Uh, in this video, I'll explain you one of the latest topic in the Android. Okay, the most important topic in the nowadays. That is nothing but Android Firebase. Okay, so before we going to discuss what exactly Firebase, so we'll discuss that's like what is the need of Firebase first of all. Okay. So in Android every android device is having a database called sqlite database let's take if you want to maintain the data if you want to maintain your application you can use this sqlite database you can use to maintain the data in your application let's take my requirement is i want to i want to uh, maintain some data i want to maintain let's say for example you know one of the common requirement if you take any application is nothing but maintaining some users data a simple requirement let's take i want to store some data i want to store you can use the SQL database you can use to store the data, correct or not? We can use the SQL database you can use to store the data. But there are two problems of storing the data in SQL database. The two problems are nothing but we can use SQL database you can use to store the data, but there are two problems of storing the data in SQL database. The two problems are nothing but one is the data is limited to that particular device. Meaning if you store the data in SQL database, if you store the data, the data is very limited to that particular device. In other devices, we cannot access the data. In other devices, we cannot access the data, we cannot access in other devices, we cannot access the data. That is the first drawback of storing the data in SQL database. The second drawback is how much data you can store in the phone database. You can store very limited data we can store in the phone database. But these are the two disadvantages of storing the data in SQL database. These are what the two disadvantages of storing the data in SQLite database. Let's take if you take any application in the nowadays uh, the present market or what kind of applications you can develop with this one. It's very simple like uh, you can you can develop a context kind of application or you can develop a calculator kind of applications you can develop. But if your requirement is let's take a uh, globally if you want to access your data from anywhere from the world anywhere from the world you want to access your data and there should not be a limit for storing the data if this is your requirement or let's say you want to develop a whatsapp kind of application which can be accessed the data can be accessed by anywhere from the world okay or there should not be a limit for storing the data okay or if you want to develop any e-commerce applications or if you want to develop any charting kind of applications or if you want to develop a swiggy kind of application like online food delivery app so these kind of applications we cannot develop with this one you cannot store the data in sql database because because of what these are the two disadvantages what are the two disadvantages data is limited to one particular device this is one thing data is limited to what only one particular device second thing is we can store very limited data we can store limited data in database these are the two disadvantages hardly you can store the data in kbs you can store even you cannot store the data in mbs also even you can store the data what in kbs you can store the data but these are the two disadvantages of storing the data in sqlite database okay what is this, what is the solution for this one let's take uh, i want to develop a swiggy kind of application online food delivery app okay uh, i can order the food from any any restaurant okay I want to get that uh, track history record I want to maintain. So we cannot develop that kind of applications. We cannot develop by using this SQLite database. Then what is the solution for this one? How, to, how can we overcome these two, uh, these two problems? Because if you take any application, the common requirement is these two things. There should not be a limit for storing the data and data can be accessible, accessed by anywhere from the world. Let's take one solution is nothing but don't store the data in SQLite database. Don't store the data in your phone SQLite database. Uh, store the data in any one of the any one of the database servers like don't store the data in SQL database store the data in any one of the a database servers like oracle oracle sql server oracle sql server mysql store the data into any one of these database servers will store the data will store the data into any one of these a database servers will store the data okay but the problem is nothing but from our Android application, from our Android application, you know, we'll deploy these uh, database servers, we'll deploy into any one of the 
you know the hosting servers like godaddy rackspace there are some hosting servers are there uh, there if you host there, we, we, there if you host your application you can create a database you can create database servers and this database server can be accessed by anywhere from the world but the problem is nothing but from our mobile application from our mobile application directly we cannot communicate with the database server this communication is not possible in and this communication is not possible in nowadays a mobile application a mobile application cannot communicate with the database servers directly this communication is not possible this communication is not possible okay then what is what is a alternative for this one then how these applications are working in the present market if you take popular applications like uh, swiggy or nokri or whatsapp or all these applications how these applications are working so directly this communication is not possible a mobile application directly cannot communicate with the database servers but this communication is possible by using any one of the web technology directly this communication is not possible our mobile application cannot communicate with the database servers directly it cannot communicate but this communication is possible with any one of the web technologies this communication this oracle sql server mysql these technologies can communicate mean we can communicate with the database servers we can communicate by using any one of these technologies like for example uh, java java uh, .net .NET PHP by by using these technologies, these technologies can communicate with what database servers it can communicate. Directly, a mobile application cannot communicate with the database server, but this database server is communication is possible by using any one of these web technologies like Java .NET or PHP. Okay, a mobile application cannot communicate with the database server directly. Fine, this database this database server communication possible is is possible with what by using any one of these technologies like java dot and php is it possible to communicate okay directly it's not possible to communicate let's take we'll take a support of any one of these web technologies like our mobile application a mobile application can communicate with any one of the web technologies like java dot net or php by using any one of these web technologies the mobile application can communicate with the web technology and web technology is going to communicate with the database this is the present architecture in the market majority of the applications are developing in the market with this architecture the applications are developing majority of the applications are developing with this architecture the applications are developing in the present market and even if you take this uh, swiggy or nokri or matrimony applications like bharat matrimony or majority of the applications working with this architecture it is working but let's take my requirement is i am creating an application i am creating let's take your mahesh tutorials app only okay while i'm developing the application i face some challenges i faced challenges are nothing but first thing is to deploy the data data into some database servers we had to purchase the hosting server we had to purchase you know it's a huge amount of cost for me let's take uh, spending a thousand rupees or two thousand rupees per, for a month it's expensive for me that is one thing second thing is directly a mobile application cannot communicate to the database server so someone has to create a web service someone has to create a web service by using java dot net or php technologies for communicating with the mobile application see i'm a i'm an android developer or an iphone developer i don't know anything about the server side programming i don't know anything uh, any, anything about the server side program then it's it's not possible for me uh, like to create the applications like uh, whatsapp or nokri or these kind of applications it's not possible to create because if you want to create those kind of applications if you want to create it's having the server side dep dependency even see this is architecture in the present market the applications are uh, following this architecture now right but if you want to develop these kind of applications if you want to develop it's having a server side dependency meaning you need to have a knowledge on the android side programming or iphone side programming as well as you need to have a knowledge on the server side programming or you need a support of server side programming programmer support for communicating the database servers this is this is my problem i am an android developer okay i don't know anything at the server side programming so i had to take any one of the server side people support had to take and deploying these 
for deploying these applications, a Java .NET PHP applications, we had to purchase some hosting servers. We had to purchase. Again, it's also you know, it's a it's expensive thing. What is what is the alternative for this one? Is it is it is it only the way for developing the applications? When I'm looking some alternatives, I'm looking some alternatives to achieve these two things, like data is limited for one. The data, data can be accessible by anywhere from the world. And second thing is there should not be a limit for storing the data. The data can be accessed by anywhere from the world. When I'm looking alternative for this present architecture, I found a best solution called Android Firebase. You need to have any server side knowledge. You need, you need to have any server side programming knowledge is not required. And you don't need to have any knowledge on the database. Database side, you don't need to have any knowledge Okay, you need to deploy the applications into some database servers. You need to deploy. We don't require all these things. When I'm looking some alternatives, I found a solution for my requirement called Android Firebase. Android Firebase. What this Android Firebase is providing is, let's take every application. We'll we'll have some requirements like storing the user credentials right user has to register the account and user has to log in so for this one there is a concept called uh, authentication concept is introduced authentication as well as you'll get a requirement of storing some data uh, storing some data you'll get a database you'll get a concept called database only storing the data like uh, you know a structured format if you want to maintain you can use database you can maintain if you want to maintain some files you want to maintain like audio files or images the profile profile pictures or you you want to maintain some user you know files you want to maintain for this requirement they introduce a concept called storage authentication database storage and you know if you are aware of the notifications part sending the notifications to the device and uh, especially whatsapp kind of notifications if you want to receive we use a concept called cloud messaging even for this notifications okay these are the major concepts apart from this it's providing a lot of features mainly the mobile application developer will get a requ will get a requirement of in these places will get a requirement uh, will get a support from the server side people mainly for these four things a mobile application developer will need what the server side support the mobile application developer need but by using this Firebase, we don't require any server side dependency. We don't require any server side coding is not required for storing the data, for, you know, for storing the files, for sending the notifications, for maintaining the user credentials. It's not required with the concept called Android Firebase. Let's see here, just if you want to get the Firebase, if you want to get, let's type, just in Google, type firebase.google.com. firebase.google.com in this firebase.google.com see here what are all the services it is providing here in firebase.google.com see what are all the services it is providing here firebase is providing the database a real-time database firebase authentication firebase cloud messaging firebase storage firebase hosting test lab crash reporting these many features it is providing here and notifications remote configuration app indexing a dynamic links invites and ad works and you can display the money you can you can get you can earn some money you can earn by displaying the ads by using ad mode meaning wherever you have a requirement of dependency with the server that's completely eliminated with this android firebase but it's not a completely a free one if, if it's not a completely a free one uh, if you want to get the about the pricing details if you want to get just type after this the firebase.google.com slash pricing you're going to get the pricing details you're going to get now see here these are the pricing details there is no any limit for authentication you can store n number of user credentials you can maintain and for database uh, initially the firebase is giving initially the firebase is giving uh, you know 100 simultaneous connections and it is giving 1 gb of data it is giving here it's giving 1 gb of storage data you know, 1GB storage data is very, uh, you know, huge for me. I mean, especially for my application. It's 1GB is very huge. 
if it is if you want to get more than 1 gb if you want to get more than 1 gb you know uh, 25 dollars they are charging for 2.5 gb for extension you know 25 dollars hardly 1000 rupees for 2.5 gb of data it's affordable compared to the database servers and hosting servers uh, spending at 25 dollars is not it's not it's going to be very less and if you want to maintain the files this is only for database structured database if you want to maintain the files if you want to maintain the firebase is providing 5 gb of space for maintaining the files and if you want to extend for 50 gb just pay 25 dollars another 25 dollars for extending to 50 gb like even pricing is also you know it's uh, very affordable a very reasonable uh, if you want to extend by default you are going to get 1 gb storage uh, 5 gb unlimited unlimited notifications unlimited user credentials you can maintain but if you want to extend your database and storage they are charging this much money of this much of money they are charging it's very affordable a reasonable reasonable price also okay uh, the best alt the best solution what if what i find to create the applications in nowadays without any server side dependency is nothing but android firebase okay my complete android application i'll show you my application i'll show you i hope you guys are using this application Yeah, this is app my tutorials this complete app is developed by using firebase you know i'm using firebase notifications concept i'm using firebase uh, firebase database firebase storage this app complete app is developed by using firebase the app is developed completely okay even i configured this list of uh, concept names i configured in firebase i configured okay uh, when you click on this particular a uh, play button you're going to get it's going to play a video file right even this uh, video file also i configured in the firebase i configured the entire app to say frankly uh, for developing this entire app i used a concept called firebase concept i used okay it's you know it's a laddu kind of offer to a developer because you know in, in my earlier days you know, i faced a lot of challenges i i faced because you know i'm a very good st i'm strong programmer with the android but i don't know anything about the server side programming part and we had to spend some uh, money for hosting the database servers and all but now uh, with the help of this firebase it made very simple no need of any hosting servers you don't need to pay any not even one single rupee uh, for hosting your application database servers and all okay this complete application i created by using the firebase okay uh, in the next tutorial we'll discuss the firebase authentication we'll discuss in the next video thank you